Hey guys, we're back with more Call of Duty Black Ops Zombies. This is Josh 17, Jerry 27, and we're on round 6 on Keno. It turns out there's no hellhounds. I figured there was, but there's this little message in the first room that you start out in. It says uh, something about beware of the 6. That just means like every 6 rounds um, there'll be hellhounds. But in this case, I guess it's going to be 7. I think that's the most and go up to 8. It shouldn't go more than that. Um, yeah, I'm going to get a different second weapon. Because mine's out of ammo. And the one I'm getting is more useful. So. I don't want to go down here. Ooh, this is getting bad. Ooh, boy. I'm not feeling comfortable. If I go down, I'm gonna go down. Yeah, I'm gonna go down. It's alright, I quick revive. I, mean, I like to last longer, but I didn't really plan that out very well. Yeah, when you go down with quick revive, um, you get the pack a punch. Mustang and Sally. So. I believe that's what it's called. I really wish I didn't go down there, but, um, I should have just opened that door. Well, I kind of want to do Mystery Box. Um, it's a gamble, but the only thing really bad about Mystery Box, yeah, you can get a crappy gun that ain't worth the, what you paid for it, but, um, the bad thing about it is if you got a Mystery Box gun, you can't really reload it any time you want until you get max ammo. So that's the only reason I don't really like it, besides the gamble. Alright, we got Hellhounds, finally. Uh, just throw a couple grenades. I feel more comfortable up there, but I'm gonna do it down here. I believe it takes three hits to do, um, get down by a Hellhound. So. Make sure you reload when you're done before you get the max ammo. Cause see, look, I couldn't have reloaded there because I was down to my last few rounds. You want to reload before you do it. Make sure you get all your rounds. Um. Yeah, we're just gonna get this. It's a MP40. It's a pretty good gun. It's not my favorite, but. That's a good gun. There's a carpenter pickup. Um, I don't really like it, but I'm going to use it now because they're going to be coming in really heavy. I mean, really heavy. <laughs> You'll see in a sec. Yeah, here they come. I'm going to go ahead and get out here as soon as I can. And they're going to come jump out from this ceiling right here pretty soon, too. Like right now. Oh, what the? Uh, oh, I don't have a quick revive, so I better make sure I don't go down. I'm good to my submachine gun. Oh. I'm not going to come I kind of want to do the power. Yeah, I'm doing the power. Oh, boy. And here's the portal. Or, yeah, I call it the portal. Teleport, whatever. You want to hit X when you get on it? That's going to be my shotgun. It's going to be more useful. I can already pack a punch a weapon, but I'm going to get Juggernaut because it's a lot more important right now. And you see, I'm getting a lot of hit, Taking a lot of hits, so. Well, yeah, I can go ahead and get that. Let's just hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Okay, I'm not have plenty of time. You just don't want to take too many risks. I mean, if Juggernaut, yeah, you can get through a couple of zombies, but make sure you don't get caught, like, one in front of you, one behind you. I'll show you. You hit X on this one. I already did. It'll tell you to. What the? What? I can't believe that took uh, two knives and a stakeout. But, um... Then you hook this up. That hooks up the portal. 
I'll uh, make sure I'm paying attention on time. I'm probably my max. I'm gonna go up to around like 18 or something with this. Cause I don't want this to be like real long. I mean, I want to have more than like four parts, at least four parts. Yeah, we're gonna use that pretty soon. I like to use it a lot. It's just my like my cheap way out. But you play however you want to. I don't want to use it as a last resort and for pack a punch. Probably not a good idea. Just sit out in here. And once you uh, turn the power on, you uh, get the spiders. So they're not that bad. The only thing bad about them really is when you kill them. They spew off this really nasty yellow gas or whatever. I don't know. It, it makes your vision blurry, so the screen's going to be blurry. You're not really going to be able to see very well. I don't like this spot right here. It's really yeah, congested. But, um, yeah, around 9, it gets pretty bad. Yeah, and there's a spider. So if you're running around pretty a lot... It makes it a lot easier. And make sure you look behind you. Uh, I'm probably going to use a portal pretty soon. So, um, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Um, I'm probably going to have to open up a bunch of doors. Go in there. Okay. Woo! Yeah, see, I'm not, I don't like to open up a bunch of doors that real quick. But um, I don't really have a choice right now. I mean, how much time we're at? Seven minutes. Not too bad. Jeez, that one take a lot. Yeah, around nine, like I said, it's pretty rough. The good thing about the spiders, though, once you shoot them, and they die, if there's any zombies around them, if the, like the yellow gas hits them, it'll kill them, too. Whether it's a, you know, a stand-up zombie or a crawler. See that one close enough to it, but um, it won't kill the other spiders if it does that. Just um, the walking zombies. Once this round's over, I'll... what the heck? I don't know if I'm on a harder difficulty or what. I don't think you can change them, but they're taking more hits than usual. Yep. Okay. That's round nine. And I'll see you on part three at round ten. More Kino Deratozen, Black Ops Zombies. See you guys at part three.